two months back, I had conducted my second cohort of my Neuro Mastery Bootcamp. In that session, during the live Q&A, one of the members asked me a very interesting question on the Bhagavad Gita. I will share that question with you and then I will share my answer and maybe we can have a small discussion on it. Let's listen. According to Bhagavad Gita, the devotion comes the best way to realize it. That's where I was confused. So I thought there is an emotional aspect to everything that happens in life. Therefore, just using the PFC as a machine or a robot, that's how I was sort of thinking in my head. So I just want to ask you. Uh, that's a great That's a great question, actually. What you're basically referring to is karma yoga and bhakti yoga. So Krishna says, so the reason Bhagavad Gita is interesting is that it starts off with the metaphor of a conflict. Okay. Now, I think you might have all known about the story of Bhagavad Gita, which is Arjun is standing in front of the army and he has to make a, a choice and decide whether to fight or to not fight. And the reason that he's struggling is because his family is in front of him. And what Krishna says is, forget that these are your relatives. Forget the emotional aspect of it. And do your job, which is to solve the problem, which is to fight. So his job is to win the war. And the emotions has to be dealt with. So if you've noticed, Krishna then spends the next 18 chapters basically resolving that emotional conflict. And only then can Arjun go ahead and fight the war because Krishna doesn't have to teach Arjun to fight. He already knows. So his prefrontal cortex already knows how to solve the problem, but it was the emotion that was coming in the way. Interestingly, in the Gita, there was there is this line that says that action is superior to everything. So, and this is in Karma Yoga, which is that even if you don't understand, even if you don't know the true meaning of things, even if you haven't seen spiritual truth or anything else, to constantly seek spiritual truth and to say that I will come and do action after I have understood is inferior to somebody who does action without understanding why. And I thought this was very interesting because that is what procrastination is, right? Because when we say that, let me read a little bit more. Let me understand a little bit more. Let me talk to a few more people. And we push action in favor of understanding. And we think that we are being reasonable or rational. But it is actually from fear. Because we are afraid and we are using intellectual terms to kind of postpone action. And I thought this was interesting. So that is the karma yoga part. Now, what you said about bhakti or devotion, I can understand why you would think that bhakti is an emotion, but it actually is not. Bhakti is surrender. And surrender or true surrender is thoughtlessness, which means you are not thinking about why. So you are not acting out of love or out of fear or any of those things because those things are still limbic. Those things are still emotional. So if I had to draw on the nervous system, on brain, I would draw limbic as ego. You are acting out of emotion. You're acting out of a primal need for survival. That's where emotions come in. Then you can act out of rationality or logic. But bhakti is when you have transcended that also. And now you are in flow state where there is no conflict between emotion. You're not ignoring your emotion. There's no conflict between emotion and thought and your entire body and everything is in line with one purpose. Now, for me, practically speaking, this almost feels like a transcendental state, which I assume that most of us may not reach, right? It is fine to aim for it. And it is beautiful if some of us reach there. And it's not that we will not reach ever. We have reached there. We have felt it at some points in our lives. 
maybe at some point when you and your friends had gone out dancing and you were listening to the music and there was that one minute where you really forgot about everything else and you were just dancing and you felt your entire body in flow in that moment that is bhakti it need not be to a god it is bhakti is more of a state of surrender to something that is outside of you so you are not selfish you are not protective you are not afraid you are not anything that is a very fleeting experience for most of us and not an emotion so that is the difference so when i read about bhakti yoga i realized that great to learn about this great to know about this but practically speaking i don't think we can aim for it because and here is the biggest crux okay as soon as you say i want to aim for it you are acting out of ego i want to aim for it i siddharth wants to aim to be in bhakti yoga because i am so awesome and without realizing it you've immediately gone back, gone back to limbic because now you want to feel that you want to feel amazing you want to brag to your friends that guys guess what i was in bhakti yoga no you were not so there is a fundamental conflict here so as soon as you say that i want to be there you will not because it's about giving up that part of you also and it's a very high aspirational state uh which you cannot aspire to right so for all practical reasons karma yoga is it that's what will get you to places that's that's the path whatever comes after that will come but you can't aim for it like you your name your age your gender your life goals you your person your identity you cannot aim for it so that that's what i understood after bhakti yoga ka part it's great but um, yeah so that was the discussion on bhagavad gita it was a completely impromptu discussion it was not planned but that is what happens in live q and a's let me know if you have read the bhagavad gita and what is your interpretation of this the third cohort of my neuromastery boot camp is happening in the month of july if any of you are interested in joining the registration link is going to be pinned in the comment below you can use the link to join the next cohort or if you are watching this after the month of july you can use that link to join the waitlist for the next one i will see you soon bye everyone take care